This way, please. <laughs> This place. Oh, fuck, what's going on? This is not joke. No love. Okay. Please, take a seat. Yeah, yeah, right on. Good evening, Donkey Count. I am here with my comrades. Our names? Not important to you. We are the chief interrogators of the Language, Behavior and Ideology Correction Division for Neo-Punk Rock here at Vodkuta. Are you both comfortable? Yeah, we're Yeah, right. I guess so, yeah. We have asked you here today because you have some concerns about some of the material you have been disseminating. Fucking you. Okay, what? Really? What do you, what do you mean? Well... We are particularly concerned that you are not following the rules, being defiant and quite possibly offensive. In the face of our current regime, we interpret this as anti-authoritarian behavior, which, as you know, we have absolutely no room for in this subculture of punk rock. This guy. What? More specifically, we have heard that you at times acted belligerently, I think is word, obnoxiously and use questionable language surrounding mainstream ideas and ways of thinking. It seems you are purposefully spreading false doctrine. Hey, Doctor Who? What's this cunt banging on about, Gaddy? I haven't understood a word this clown has said. Yeah, well, all right, yeah, chill, bro, I'll explain it. What he's saying is there's seemingly a group of high-profile people in the punk rock movement that are moderators and trendsetters of what is and what is not okay to say as a member of a movement that was built on anti-authoritarianism and the promotion of individuality and the ultimate acceptance of those that don't fit into the mainstream mould. So essentially you can belong to their non-conformance movement so long as you conform to their expectations and loosely based rule system, while simultaneously fighting against a rule-based system, so long as you act, dress, and say the things that everybody else says and don't upset the status quo, which I thought was the point of punk, but I must have misinterpreted that at some point. So it's complex, but pretty simple, really. Silence! This is problematic. The neo-punk rock philosophy requires all members of the punk rock movement to be virtually accepted the rhetoric of current social issues and therefore must sit on one side of fence and not on side of defense only. This means you must think like us, act like us, and speak like us. This is necessary in our plight to achieve the ultimate non-conformist version of punk rock. If you do not conform to our way of thinking, you will be publicly humiliated and sent to undertake retraining. Ah, oh. but I thought being punk was about standing up for your beliefs and like being an individual and going against the grain and the status quo, daring to be different and embracing that we are different from the mainstream. Yeah. No, this is not how we do things. You have broken zeros. Are you really this stupid? Yeah, maybe, but like, what's the big threat then? <laughs> we will be sending you to a corrective labor camp on the chain of islands to commence your re-education before you can perform any further shows or distribute any ideas or materials that may disrupt the current status of the neo-punk movement. 